You probably heard that there are AI tools that can clone your own voice. In this video, I'm going to show you the tool that I use at Eleven Labs and how you can clone your own voice and create other voices as well. Let's get right to it. On Eleven Labs website, which is elevenlabs.io, just how it sounds. And the first thing that you'll notice is that there at the top it says speech synthesis voice lab history and resources. So what I want you to do first is click on voice lab and in voice lab, you're going to see it says voice design and instant voice cloning. So first let's jump into instant voice cloning because I know that you want to know all about that. <laughs> and then here are the voices that I have done right there. So to go to the voice lab and let me just move that up, you are going to click add voice. So to add a voice, you're going to click add voice and then you're going to say, do you want voice design, instant voice cloning or professional voice cloning? And so this just popped up actually today. They're launching that later this year. So what you want to do now is click on instant voice cloning if when you're watching the video, this isn't ready for you yet. So I did instant voice cloning and then you're going to name it. Alicia's voice, <laughs> and then you're going to upload three files that it can clone your voice from. It tells you on the samples, use audio samples of the voice you would like to clone. Sample quality is more important than quantity. So I only uploaded three samples, and these are samples that are from my podcast. So I know that I'm speaking directly into the mic. <laughs> it's going to be, they're going to get clear audio. There's no background noise. There's no anybody else's in the audio. To record these, I used GarageBand on a Mac. So if you're on a PC, you might use something like Audacity or a different player, but I used GarageBand on my Mac. And then I, after I was done with the audio, then that's the audio that I can upload here. There's also a website called Dolby. I believe it's Dolby.io. Let me just check where if you, I think this is it. If you want to make your voice sound even better, you can, or you can take that audio and upload it into Dolby to get it to sound better. But you want it to sound authentically you. So I would record it with a very good mic. I'm using the Shure M7, given to me as a gift from my great friend, Deb Cole. I'm using the Shure M7. And so you can see, make sure that you're using a good mic and then upload those audio files. It's as simple as clicking on the upload. And you can see that I did... I have two up files that I can upload here. Now, I did have to take my larger audio files and break them into two. And so this is why I say part one, part two for a lab, 11 labs version two. And then you can describe the voice. So I describe the voice, my voice, and then I put my name in it. And then you confirm that you have the necessary rights. And then you click add voice. So this is all that it takes to do it. I will say, just as they say, quality is more important than quantity. So if you don't feel like you have some good samples of your voice, get on the mic and record some good samples on your voice. You can have ChatGPT create a script for you that you read and, you know, you're just reading it in a completely quiet environment, no background noise. Um, and I definitely recommend this. If you do not have good audio samples, don't be lazy. Record some good audio samples of your voice. I also would like to encourage you that as you're recording audio samples of your voice, make sure that it is not monotone unless you want to have a monotone voice come out. So in my podcast episodes, the reason that I use those audios is because I go up and down. I have excitement in my voice uh, and also disappointment. So I have different fluctuations in my voice level. You can hear my excitement up here. And then I even have an, ex an example as I'm talking. I'm like, oh, this is so disappointing. So I've got a lot of voice fluctuation in there. Pay attention to the speed of your voice. The files that you upload determine the results that come out. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. So they also have voice design. So in voice design, you can click on voice design and decide what type of voice you want it. For mine, I did a female who was young. I did a British accent and then you can click the accent strength and then you can, I have a little 
thing that I type in there that I want to see if I like the voice, you click generate so that you can generate the voice and listen to it. And then if you want to use the voice, you can use it and name that voice. So right once upon a time in a distant land, there existed an enchanted forest filled with the most extraordinary sights and sounds. As you listen to this sleep story, allow your body to relax and let your imagination transport you to this magical realm. Your adventure begins at the edge of the enchanted forest, where beams of sunlight filter through the leaves, casting a warm, golden glow on the soft, mossy floor. As you step onto the cushioned earth, you are welcomed by the gentle, soothing sounds of nature. Right? So I listen to that voice and I'm like, boy, it sounds real. It sounds professional. It's so soothing for what I'm looking to do, which is a motivational video. So I would then click on use voice. Let me show you some one other thing. You can see here at the bottom, it's telling me my character limit here, 507 over a thousand. So you can put a thousand in and how what my total remaining quota is. So I'm on a subscription plan so that I have a quota. My quota is now a hundred thousand. Is it words? I think it's words maybe or characters. I don't know, but whatever. I'll go to the pricing a month. So now I can click use voice and I'm going to name this voice. What is a British name. I have a good friend, Ruth, so I'll name her Ruthie and then British. And then I'm um, clicking create voice. And now it's creating that voice for me to use whenever I want. So you can see that I have Annabelle, who's a British middle-aged female. I have Nia, who's an African young female. I have Alicia, that's me. <laughs> and then I have Ruthie, that is a British young female. So you can hear the different voice types. Let me generate Annabelle's for you. So you can hear Annabelle. And then I'll generate Nia and then I'll generate Alicia. So you can hear all the Once different time, types. In a distant land, there existed an enchanted forest filled with the most extraordinary sights and sounds. As you listen to this sleep story, allow your body to relax and let your imagination transport so nice, to this magical right? realm. Your adventure begins at the edge of the enchanted forest, where beams of sunlight filter through the leaves casting a warm golden glow on the soft, mossy floor. As you step onto the cushioned earth, you are welcomed by the gentle, soothing sounds of nature. So you can see Annabelle has a very nice voice, and that voice is registered as, let me just go back, my British middle-aged female. So now I have a British young, British middle-aged, then I have Nia. So let's do Nia, doing the same voice here for Nia. Once upon a time, in a distant land, there existed an enchanted forest filled with the most extraordinary sights and sounds. As you listen to this sleep story, allow your body to relax and let your imagination transport you to this magical realm. Your adventure begins at the edge of the enchanted forest, where beams of sunlight filter through the leaves, casting a warm golden glow on the soft mossy floor. As you step onto the cushioned earth, you are welcomed by the gentle, soothing sounds of nature. All right. Now let's listen to the Alicia voice. Who wants to hear that voice? No one, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's listen to my voice. Here we go. Tell me what you think. Once upon a time in a distant land, there existed an enchanted forest filled with the most extraordinary sights and sounds. As you listen to this sleep story, allow your body to relax and let your imagination transport you to this magical realm. Your adventure begins at the edge of the enchanted forest where beams of sunlight filter through the leaves, casting a warm golden glow on the soft mossy floor. As you step onto the cushioned earth, you are welcomed by the gentle, soothing sounds of nature. Right? So I'm like, okay, that's me. So now... You can go into the speech synthesis <laughs> and now we can say, okay, which voice do we want to use? So this example, you can see that we've got the voices that I've created at the top and then down below are the other voices that are 11 labs voices. So you can look at all of those. And then in voice settings, 
I can change the stability of my voice and the clarity. So you can read that stability says increasing the stability can make speech more expressive with output varying between, you know, how you're regenerating it. But it can also lead to some instabilities and low values are recommended if background artifacts are present in generated speech. I don't have any background artifacts, so I'm closer to the high. So. I hear for my voice, I'm at 50% and 91%. And then I'm going to click generate. And then we see what is generated from. Once upon a time, in a distant land, there existed an enchanted forest filled with the most extraordinary sights and sounds. As you listen to this sleep story, allow your body to relax and let your imagination transport you to this magical realm. Your adventure begins at the edge of the enchanted forest, where beams of sunlight filter through the leaves, casting a warm golden glow on the soft, mossy floor. As you step onto the cushioned earth, you are welcomed by the gentle, soothing sounds of nature. Right? So how I change the stability and the clarity and enhancement will change the voice. And I would like to encourage you to play around with that. Now I can go into the history and I can see the different voices here and play them. I can also download them so I can download myself, Nia, Annabelle. I think there was one other that I created. Okay. We can download those three. So you click download selected and it will download the three that we just created right onto your computer. So that's how you get them downloaded. So that's really important in your history. Also, if there's something in there that's junk that you don't want in there anymore, like I was playing around a lot, I can go ahead and click remove selected. But for some of the projects that I've done, here's the long one with Nia. You, I can come over here and just press play. Once upon a time, in a distant land. Once upon a time, to listen to it. In a distant land, there existed an enchanted forest filled Stop. with the Don't most play extraordinary the whole thing. I had to refresh my browser to get it to stop playing, but that's it. You basically see it. 11 Labs, a lot easier to use than you probably thought. You might have heard of it before, but thought it was harder to use. It's not bad. I really love it. I hope that you play around with this tool. Let me show you the subscription plans. Hang on one second. So we're going to go to subscription. So you can look at the subscription. I'm subscribed to a creator plan. Character you, oh, it's by characters. Yep. So my next character reset is in 30 days and four hours. Let's see. You can enable usage billing past this. So it shows that you'll be charged every time your account reaches $44 for every 1,000 characters that you go above. You're charged $0.30. Cents. So you can just see that. Or you can increase your payment plan. So I started off on the free plan, 10,000 characters, where I did a lot of my testing. So that's where you can start. But if you use it, you have to give attribution to 11 labs. Then I moved up to the starter plan at $5 a month, 30,000 characters. And right now I'm at the creator, which is 100,000 characters included, which is about two hours of generated audio. So pretty soon I'll be moving up, I'm sure, to independent publisher because I'm playing around a lot and having a lot of fun with it. But I hope that this helped you and get started with 11 Labs. Enjoy.